Here we have a case in which the benefits are 140, 130, 110, 50, 0. The value of the benefits is equal to $430. The cost of the park is the same, $500, or uh, the benefits are less than the park. But look, uh, we have a situation in which the A gains $140 in benefits, pays taxes of $100, and votes for the park. B, 130 versus 100, votes for the park. C, 110 versus 10, votes for the park. Uh, D, 50 versus 100, votes against the park. And, and E, zero benefits versus $100 in taxes, votes against the park. Notice that we have a situation in which the benefits are less than the value of the park, but yet because of the distribution of the taxes and the benefits, the park actually uh, passes. And it's also because of the majority rule uh, kind of uh, politics. Now we can look at a slightly more complicated case in which in the first case you have the park uh, and the total value of the benefits uh, $460. I know that's a little difficult to read. Um, the total benefits of the park are going to be $460 versus $500. But still, because of the distribution of the costs and benefits, the park gets voted in. The road, there's a road that's being put up, and the total uh, uh, benefits of the road is $750 versus $1,000 in taxes. Uh, but again, we have three people voting uh, for the park. And in other words, we take on another project that uh, costs more than its collective uh, benefits. A school, uh, well, the, the values here are $1,600 uh, versus $2,000 in, in terms of cost. Again, the benefits are less than the cost, but yet because of the distribution of those uh, costs and taxes, benefits and taxes, we get a majority rule in favor of the park. What is most interesting in this uh, analysis is that let's suppose that all park, all three projects are, are voted on as a separate case. Three projects here. I mean, they're voted on as a political package. In this case, you have um, uh, A having a total benefits of 420, which is equal to 120 for the park, 250 for the road, and 50 for the, for the school. The total taxation is going to be uh, $700, so uh, A votes against the park. Uh, B has a total benefit of 220, pays taxes 700, votes against the park. Um, uh, C gets $870 uh, in benefits, pays $700 in taxes, votes for the park. Uh, D, 600 in benefits, 700 in taxes, votes against the park, and 800 for E um, in benefits, 700 in taxes, votes for. So when in fact the three projects are taken together, uh, all three projects uh, go down in, in defeat. And this is a case in which the collective uh, benefits of the park, $2,910 uh, versus $3,500. And in some sense, you could argue uh, that, in fact, uh, this, this park, um, uh, I'm sorry, it's $2,900 in, $2, in, in total benefits that I have uh, right there. Uh, the benefits are less than the, uh, than the costs, and, and they should, in fact, uh, go, go down uh, in flames, in political flames, I should say. Well, the point of this uh, video module is, is basically that democracy can have uh, a tremendous value uh, for society, especially over alternative decision uh, making, but there are serious problems uh, with it. Uh, first problem is that uh, uh, median voters will tend to have their uh, preferences uh, uh, played out in the political process. You can also get some weird outcomes uh, in uh, democracy. That is, you can get uh, uh, projects that are approved, uh, the value which uh, is less than the um, are, is less than the taxes that must be imposed. Uh, thank you for listening to me.